Hey fairies, it's Laura Andrea, and today we are back with another dummy series. So today we are doing a natural, everyday, no makeup makeup routine. This is definitely warm of color friendly, so all of my dark skin brown color girls out there, this is definitely for you guys. For, for anyone that is going to work and need something very subtle and simple for every day, this is definitely for you guys. So if you guys are very interested, make sure you check out the rest of this video. And if you guys did not see my other dummy series, I did a eyeliner dummy series um, tutorial and I also did a eyelash tutorial for you guys. So if you guys did not check those out, I will link them down below for you guys to click on and go and check out and see. But definitely stay tuned for this video if you are interested in seeing this makeup look. So. First things first, you always, always, always want to start off by putting moisturizer on your face. Um, I already cleansed my face and I did put some toner on. If you guys are curious of what my skin um, care is, I do have two videos up on my um, channel. One for more high-end products and then the other is more drugstore products. So if you guys are curious, definitely make sure that you check those videos out. But for this video, I will be using a brand new moisturizer that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And that is the Ole Hendrickson moisturizer. And it is good for oil control. If you guys have oily skin like how I do, I normally get oily in my T-zone and dry on the perimeter of my face or pretty much normal. Um, this is perfect for you. It is good for counterbalancing your skin, making sure that wherever you are oily, it controls that oil. And wherever you are dry, it hydrates that area. So I will not be using a um, kind of physical primer today. I will be using a spray primer. The reason I like the spray primer from Smashbox is because you can use it as a primer in a setting spray. So I'll just be spraying the um, spray all over my face to prime my skin. And then I'll also be using it again later on in the video to set my makeup. Now, next I'm going to be moving on to foundation. So, I will be putting on foundation, but it's going to be something super natural. And, um, you know, I don't really have anything crazy going on with my skin. My skin has actually been looking pretty good lately, which is oh so good. So, I will be using a e.l.f. foundation. So, um, if anyone doesn't have any crazy, you know, hyperpigmentation or marks or anything going on in their face, they could just do a spot conceal um, wherever needed if they don't want to wear foundation. But if someone, like myself, wants to have flawless complexion, even if I don't need coverage or anything, I will be using a medium coverage foundation, and this is the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. And it has SPF of 15 in it, which is good because I will be outside today. I'm going to a Yankees game. Um, so I will be outside, so I want to have some type of sunscreen because I didn't put it in in my skincare. So you want to make sure that you do have some type of sunscreen if you're going to be sitting outside for a long period of time. Now I'm just going to do like about one to two scrapes of these and I will be applying that with my Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender is sheer out product so I want to make sure that I do have a little bit of coverage but it's not overpowering because like I said we are going more for a no makeup makeup look and the Beauty Blender will kind of just sheer out the product but make it super flawless and pretty. So I'm working pretty fast with this because I have learned that with this foundation it dries pretty quickly. So I just put it all over my face and now I'm just going to bounce the beauty blender all around. So while I just have my foundation marinating on my skin and letting that do its thing by oxidizing and getting to my true skin color, I'll be going in with my brows. So for an everyday type of look, I definitely like to stick to using brow powder. I will be using the Anastasia Brow Powder in the color chocolate. Um, I like to go in with the lighter color right here and put that in the beginning of my brow. And then I'll just fill in the arch of my brow with the darker shade right hither. Now, this step is completely optional. If people or if someone had just got their eyebrows done and they want to skip this step, you definitely can. But because I still have a little bit of hairs going on under here and I'm stalling to get my eyebrows done, I would definitely do this step. So I'm just taking a little bit of my concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm not really going to like cut and carve and do all the extra stuff. So 
what I will be doing is only putting, applying it on the arch of my brow. So I just took the excess and just kind of wiped it off on the back of my hand because I didn't want to do too much. As little as possible, guys. Trust me, you will see a difference and you will love it. Now with that same concealer, as many times as people want to tell me that, you know, just do like a very simple makeup look, like just do foundation, powder, mascara, and lip gloss. Guys, like we need to bring some dimension back to the face because we already wiped out everything with the foundation. So we need something going on under here. We're just going to look completely flat and just blah, you know? So going in with that same concealer, I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer. I'm not going ham, look like a tribal princess, you know, a tribe queen and everything. I'm just going to put a little under my eyes and then a little down the bridge of my nose and then that's it. And this color is in the color toffee. Usually I go in with um, fawn, but fawn is slightly like two shades lighter. And toffee is like one shade lighter than my skin tone. So that's why I chose that. Now that's all we're doing with the concealer. So taking that same damp beauty blender, it's kind of getting a little bit dry. So I'm just going to spray it with my primer water. And now I'm just going to blend everything out. And you just see, it just brightens up the whole face because... I can't have a not a non bright under eye. I just cannot. I cannot. I refuse. Now, definitely want to make sure that we go in and set our concealer. Um, so instead of putting powder all over my entire face, all I'm going to do is set where I normally get oily, which is my T zone. So my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and um, a little bit around my nose. So I'm just taking a flat powder brush and really pressing that underneath the eye to make sure the concealer is set in place so now I'm going to go in with my bronzer um if you're more of a lighter skin tone we want to put some color on the face and if you're more of a darker skin tone like myself or darker you want to put more bronzer on the face so I will be taking that on a bronzing brush only getting a little bit because for this to be elf, this is pigmented, y'all. And going where I would normally bronze and contour the face. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this bronzer. You guys will powder. You guys have no idea. Now, you guys can totally skip this step, but I'm just so used to um, contouring my nose or like bronzing up my nose. I don't really contour my nose. Um, I feel like during the daytime, you can kind of see the contour if you do too much sometimes on your nose. So I like to use my bronzing powder. So just taking that same bronzing powder and taking a tapered powder brush. This is the four collection number 19. I'm just going to run this on the side and a little bit on the front just to contour that area. Taking that same bronzing um, powder and the same brush, I'm just going to swipe a little bit of the bronzer onto my lid and then buff it up into my crease. And this is just going to play as our um, eye color today. Now we're going to move on to some mascara. I'm just using the Urban Decay, um, what is this? The Perversion Mascara. It's just like a little sample one that I got. And I'm just going to pack on some mascara. On my upper lashes and kind of a little bit on my bottom lashes as well. Now a trick that I like to do to get a crazy amount of volume on my lashes is to first apply the product by wiggling the product onto my lashes and then I like to just curl up 
Oh crap. Now moving on to lip color, I will be using my favorite nude of all times. This is the Makeup Forever um, Liquid Lipstick in 107. And I would just be putting this on the center of my lips. Just a little bit. And then I'll also be taking my favorite lip gloss. It's actually a lip treatment, but I use it as a lip gloss. This is the Sugar um, Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting Wand. People keep asking me about this product. Um, and it's actually not even a lip gloss. It's just like a lip treatment. And I like to take my finger and just put a generous amount of this. Hello? Why did you call me back? I I did call you back. Yes, I did, ho. What? You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Oh, sorry. Are you at work? No, I'm recording. You're at court? I'm recording. Oh, hello, my friend. What's up? <laughs> now, some of you may not want to do this step either, but I, I, I need some type of shimmer, some type of highlight. A little bit of highlight. Just a little bit, guys. This is the Artist Couture Highlight in Sugar Daddy. You guys have seen me use this a million and one times in my videos. It's my favorite highlight of all time. So I'm only going to put this in my tear duct and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And So I just took like a big fluffy brush. Um, and I'm going to apply a little bit on my inner tear duct. And on the center of the nose. Now I'm just going to set the entire face by using the Smashbox Primer Water Spray. We did use this. We did use this as our primer, so we're just going to use it as our finishing spray as well. So pretty much, I just did my hair off camera. If you guys want to see how I did this hairstyle, let me know. I did record it, um, and I will post it and edit it. But if you guys aren't interested, then you know just. Don't say anything about it. But for anyone that's interested, definitely let me know if you guys want to see how I did my hair. This is the same hair that I had in my past two videos. Um, make sure you guys click on the video below. I have it linked to how I got this hairstyle. This is a quick weave frontal. Make sure you check the video to see how I did everything. You guys are probably like, what the heck? How did you do that? Make sure you check the video down below so you know how to do that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I am on a roll with all my dummy series. You guys have really been liking my dummy series. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next for my dummy series. I was thinking of maybe like nude lips for women of color um, or eyeshadow blending like a pro. Which one do you guys want to see first? Comment down below. Hope you guys... Make sure you guys click on these two videos right here. These are my previous videos that I have on my channel. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye, guys.